So today I'd like to show you Lucas Chess, which I was put on to uh, from the Chestnut Air chess board on their website. They had compatible software with the Chestnut Air and Lucas Chess came up and I hadn't seen it before. Uh, and it runs on Linux, so for me that's great. If you're not running Linux, it also runs on Windows and on Mac. And I have to say, I'm super impressed. Let's have a look. So Lucas Chess, let's open it up. I'll drag it over here. So this is it. It's um, it's not the most attractive or integrated with the desktop environment, but it, it works and it's really nice. It gives you a puzzle of the day, which is a one move. You've got to solve it. You don't have to do that. And I'm not going to. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to play a game of chess against the engine. And I think it's indicative of how, how kind of in-depth it is and how well thought out it is. So we click play and we get a new uh, dialogue come up. And this has all the options that you're going to choose when you play a game. So the first thing you can choose an opponent with this button here. So I'm gonna click on Mayor 1100, which is uh, not too challenging. And you can see that you've got a whole load of um, different options here. So we've got engines with limited ELO, Opponents for young players, internal engines just rated by ELO again, so we can choose like Maya 1900 for example. Uh, so that's really nice I think, um, gives you a really good indication, it's not just the engine name you're getting and you're kind of getting thrashed by it and then you <laughs> look it up on the, online and it's like oh well, that's 2500 rated, no wonder. So as well as picking the engine you've got some simple configuration options for how much time does it get to think, fixed depth, uh, zero is unlimited. Um, we can also ask it to go slowly to kind of emulate, I guess, more human uh, game. <clears throat> um, we can select the side we're playing with, so we pick random. Now down here I've got activate eboard chestnut uh, because I've connected my board to this. Uh, so it's really nice that we get that as we create the game and a, a, a button to humanize the time it takes for the engine to respond, which is nice. In addition, for this game that you're playing, we can also configure the help that you get with, while you're playing. So we can activate a tutor that can uh, do various things. Um, you can also get it to stop the game if you've made too many mistakes, and it will tell you, you like, play the game again, and it will go through the same moves. and you configure your centipawn loss uh, before it, it's going to make the, make you do that. Um, and then there's some configuration on what you want to see about your opponent's thinking. We can make it a timed game. We can, and I really love this, get to play from a start position or a specific opening. And there's loads of really cool opening training stuff in here. So here, uh, let's say I want to, to play the French, I'm gonna play the two knights. So I, I wanna see like the classical response to that and we'll go from there. So there we go, French two knights variation is the opening we're gonna play. There's some stuff about books and opening lines and I'm not gonna pretend that I know what those mean. Um, but for advanced users, that's really great. And then in advance, there's some more configuration about uh, your opponent you can have it resign early or late or never. I've never had the engine resign, frankly, and probably should have at some point. Okay, so that's my game configured. Um, I'm going to turn on my chestnut there, down here. There we go, and hit accept. And we can see, there we go, it's found it. I'm just going to, if I hit okay, um, I've actually got my spare queens on the board, which is why it says, hey, that's not ready. Okay, and now I'm gonna play down here on the board. Oh, and there we go. Maya is doing as she was told and playing <clears throat> the French defense, etc. Okay, let's push that pawn. Ooh. Uh, yep. Oh dear, it's in trouble now. Oh. 
correctly, etc. Um, so yeah, that's playing the game. Um, I can cancel, re-init. I can also, what's nice is I can adjourn this game and, and bring it back up later if, if I really uh, care to do so. Is while we're playing, there's all the usual analysis and utils and things like that that you can use. So that is a quick look at Lucas Chess playing against the AI. You can't play online on Lucas Chess, which is a limitation, but it's got so much cool stuff for learning chess, not like just opening lines, but loads of different kinds of puzzles and uh, training exercises. I think it's really fantastic. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.